And I think that's where a lot of school districts go wrong is they are constantly focused on the new stuff and the latest and greatest and all of these things as opposed to saying like, hey, yeah, those things are happening, but let's just be really good at these few things so that we're we're not just focused on the newest technology, but really how do we actually, um, you know, for example, I, I like I, I still use blogs all the time because I think it actually really helps with writing. I think it's one of the best ways to learn to read and write, communicate, especially online. And so I, I appreciate that too, is like you're getting to that place of depth. And I think for a lot of people listening to, don't focus on all of the things focus on a few things doing them really well and i think you'll, you'll be better served i think your staff will be thankful for that as well is that something yeah. that you've seen as working in your like in the process of what you do like how, how is that like how, what's your philosophy so, you i just shared yeah um well the whole idea of task before apps or uh, mm-hmm. you, you want the content whatever the content is and the apps or the tools are secondary um yeah but when when you find a tool, I'm all about, let's learn this tool. Let's yeah. not try to learn all these tools. You go to these things and you see 50 tools in 50 minutes. And right. I have to say, I've been guilty of doing some of those right. sessions. Uh, but when I think they're really great tools, of course. Right. Um, and I'll actually, I'm signed up to do one at a conference in a couple of months. But uh, the idea behind that is, yeah, I'm going to give you a scatter plot of a, oh, a scatter plot, a bunch of tools that you can use. However, I want you to just find one and focus in on it. Right. Dial in on that one tool and become really become an expert at that one tool. And if you want to add another one, yes, but don't try to add more than one. Never, ever, right. ever try to learn. So, yeah, you maybe you have the cap, capacity to do so. I remember a couple of years ago, my wife was going to Finland. My daughter was taking Spanish for the first time and my son was taking French for the first time. Or my daughter was taking Spanish for the eighth time. I don't know. She right. did in elementary school. But um, I said, so I'll take, I'll learn some French, Spanish and Finnish. Right. Uh, all at the same time. That didn't work. <laughs> right. Right. And it was work. one of those things where, uh, yeah, I, I know a couple of words in all the languages, but that's about it. And right. it's one of those things that, I think had I honed in, focused in, uh, drilled in, uh, it would have been better for me. And I think it's the same way with uh, technology. Yeah. The, the, so it, it is kind of interesting. And I, I start with this because I've had lots of conversations with educators and it's like, oh, like our school just inundates us with so many tools. And like we we're, we're struggling with this. But then the 50 tools in 50 minute session is always jam packed at conferences. And then conferences repeat them because they know they're just a sure thing. Right. Like they'll always get a huge attendance where it's like, hey, like, are we actually like advocating for something that we're not like we actually will we're kind of going against? And I I remember there's this distinct time I was doing a workshop with a school and I actually was shocked at this answer. I was expecting something totally different. I said, look, if I could just let you do whatever you want with any technology you figured out on your own, but you had all the choice in the world. Would you prefer that or would you just want me to decide for you a couple tools, but promise you that we're going to focus on that for a couple of years? And they're like, just tell us what to do. Just, just, I was like, oh, and I think it was because a lot of people know that we have to implement technology meaningful ways into our classrooms because it's just part of society. It's part of the world, but they don't know where to start. And so they become so overwhelmed that they just push it all away. 